Let's talk about press releases. What we're looking at on the screen right now is a press release that I did for a countertop refinishing company that uh, was a client of mine. Uh, this was earlier this year, actually, in March 2013. And we'll leave this up on the screen just as an example of what a press release looks like. Now, although press releases are used as a valuable search engine optimization tool, they're also much more than just that. Press releases should be used by businesses to spread your message, to reach journalists, bloggers, influencers, and end consumers. So with that objective at the forefront, many goals can be achieved, such as increasing visibility, awareness, generating social media engagement, driving sales, increasing traffic, and a lot of other things. It's a matter of doing it the right way, really. So before getting started, you really need to have something that is newsworthy. But that doesn't have to be a grand opening or some gigantic event. It can be something like a company milestone, an important employee promotion, a major decision that will affect clients, something like that. You don't want to try and press release, for example, a regular sale or something that is insignificant. The idea, again, is that this press release will go out to various media outlets and may get picked up and reported on by a local news agency like the newspaper or local TV station. In fact, we're going to manually submit it to those places. Press releases online have a widespread distribution and could be picked up by anyone anywhere, but at the very least, it will be another news piece that you can refer to on your social media platforms and will help establish you as an expert in your community. In our pest control example that we've been using, we'll use the idea of our Toronto pest control company announcing a switch to environmentally friendly chemicals before their competition. Now, before we get started on writing the content, there's a few things to keep in mind about press releases that are different than most of the other core story and other creative writing that we've done so far. A press release should be factual. It's going to cover the five W's and the one H. That's the who, what, where, when, why, and how of the event or the announcement. It should not be pitchy or markety and should avoid using industry jargon. Imagine it's being reported on the nightly news. You're going to want to avoid using flowery speech that tries to make your company look, you know, really amazing. Rather, stick to the facts and let the facts tell the story themselves. If the press release is not well written using these points, it will be rejected and you'll have to rewrite it. Now, I recommend using a word processor while you're writing the press release, and once you're ready to submit it, copy and paste the sections to the PR website. Once you have your newsworthy idea in mind, the first thing you'll want to work out is the title. Now, let's try this. Toronto Pest Control Beats Competition by Announcing Switch to Environmentally Friendly Chemicals. Okay, so as we reread this, you're going to find that this title is pitchy. When I say pitchy, what I mean is it's trying to persuade the customer too much that your company is amazing. It talks about beating the competition, and this is going to be rejected. Since it puts a spin on the facts, it's not a good press release. A better title would be Toronto Pest Control Announces Switch to Environmentally Friendly Chemicals. So that is switching, so that is staying more within the facts of the announcement and not trying to say how amazing you are. Next, you can optionally write a summary which will appear below the title and before the main body of the release. A summary almost reads as a subtitle. So our summary could be something like, Consumers now have a safe green choice for dealing with pest problems as Toronto Pest Control switches from dangerous chemical sprays to child and pet friendly sprays that get the extermination job done just as well. The rest of the press release will cover exactly what it is that prompted the change in our case, whatever the announcement is. Now, press releases normally start with a location and date, uh, but we're going to skip that because the press release site is going to automatically do that for us. 
it's quite common to have a quote from the owner or CEO or whoever the president is of the company. Since you're writing your own press release, you just make up a quote for yourself. If you happen to be writing on behalf of someone else, make up a quote for them and just get them to approve the quote or modify it before publishing. Remember to keep it simple and to the point. It shouldn't be more than three or four at the very maximum paragraphs. But I would suggest keeping it even down to two paragraphs because if it's not short, a news agency isn't going to want to read that much. It's also customary to have a brief about the company section and a contact section. If there are more than one company mentioned in the content of the press release, such as a partnership being announced, make sure that you include two about company sections, one for each company. The contact section will be automatically created by the PR website, so there's no need to do anything about that. There's a specific format for press releases, but again, the online submission form hides that from you, which is nice, so you don't really need to worry about that. You just need to worry about the content. So in our example, we're going to skip the main body of the press release because nobody wants to just watch me type out a main body. But again, that's going to be covering the main points in a non-jargon, non-markety way, just the facts, ma'am, type of material. Now, once your press release is ready, you're ready to try and submit it to a free PR website. The one that I prefer is called PR.com. So here's how to use it. First, go to PR.com. That's PressRelease.com. What you want to do is submit a press release. So it asks you again for the date of the release. So you can write in the correct date here. I'll just leave it as is. You, it asks for the title of the press release, so you're going to switch back and forth now between your word processing document and copy and paste into the title and the summary, the main body. Now most of the free press release sites, they do it for free and they're going to try to upsell you on a lot of things. So if you have any hyperlinks in there, they're probably not going to be converted into correct hyperlinks once the press release is completed unless you pay extra money for it. So most of the time I just do it for free and just leave it as is and use it as a promotion tool. It also asks you for the location. So this is the your local city and this will appear in the press release at the very beginning. An image can be added again by by paying for more but again I leave that blank. You also need to choose an industry distribution channel that is so that people who are news agencies who are looking for you know interesting news they're not going to cover everything in the whole world they're looking for specific things so you get to pick one of these for free and again if you want to choose more than one category you have to pay for it so choose wisely and again as we scroll down the free version includes all regions including international so that is fine and finally your contact information this is, you know, this is where you'd fill in your business name, your phone number, etc., and that will automatically get attached to the end. All right, when you're finished, click Save, and you'll find that the press release goes into a pending state because the press release won't automatically go live. It'll probably take two to three, maybe even four days before it goes live because the editor needs to read it and make sure that it is written properly and is not too pitchy and it follows all those um, rules that we had talked about, no jargon, etc. So it'll stay in a pending state until it gets reviewed and then finally after three or four days it'll get approved. So if you are planning a press release for a coming event, make sure you do it ahead of time, right? And remember at the top of the form, where we chose the date of the release, you can schedule this to happen at a future date. So you might want to do it a week or two ahead of time and schedule it for that future date. And then once it's approved, it will just appear when you set it to release. Now, once your press release goes live, it will look something like this, this one that I showed you at the beginning. Here's the title. Here's your summary. There's the location and date that we had entered in the form. And then from here down is the content. 
all the way down to here and your contact information is at the very bottom so a press release uh, again for free works great now what you're going to want to do with this press release is you're going to want to take this URL and copy that and then you're going to want to put that onto your social media platforms you're going to want to blog about it send it to your friends you know send an email blast to your mailing list and also what you want to do is reach out to your local community newspaper and TV stations any local news media outlets and find an email or a news submission link on their site and send them a copy of this don't depend on them finding the press release by it just showing up on PR.com make sure that you send it to them because they're inundated with lots of potential news stories but they're always looking for local news and if you're obviously since you're a local business if your story is newsworthy and interesting there's a good chance that they'll pick it up and that could throw you a lot of business so again make sure you submit it manually to these places and hopefully you'll be able to get a good deal of traffic both to your website and to your business for essentially free just a little bit of time and effort once you submit it to your local news agencies they may contact you for more information or they may just go ahead and run the story as is at the end of the day press releases are a very effective way to get free traffic to your website free traffic to your physical premises if the news agencies report about it using your actual address and overall an effective online marketing strategy for you